I had like 10 alarms, bro. The funny thing is that all night I couldn't sleep. Like I was awake at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 2 a.m., like 1 a.m. I was wide awake. But when I needed to wake up, I was mad tired. What the fuck? How did the way? First day of class. Call me yellow demon, always creeping on the avenue. Call like hello, screaming in the mic, like what the fuck is new? I'm that yellow, need the window peeping, kid who spit the truth. Who don't meddle with the metal, cause the camera all I shoot. Call me yellow demon, always creeping on the avenue. Call like hello, screaming in the mic, like what the fuck is new? I'm that yellow, need the window peeping, kid who spit the truth. Who don't meddle with the metal, cause the camera all I shoot. Draped in black, my skin yellow, bring it back to 20. 2010, how you been? I've been at it, I just need to get it in. I see them trying to. No, 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 no. Original. It's raining. Mambella so cute. There's something about the way So I'm in my second class right now and this is psych. But I'm waiting to sit on my classes, so I'm like trying to get into them. Not me paying for college and having to beg them to teach me. What? The lunch line goes crazy, guys. Okay, so I just finished up there in my classes. My phone's about to die, so I'm rushing. But I'm gonna tell you guys all about them once I get to my room. I'm gonna go pick up my mail, do a little unboxing. So it's one. I ate lunch too. So I'm gonna catch you guys up once I get to my room. Okay, I want you guys to see what I got. I got this bag. It's like a. What's this called? I forgot the name of these type of bags, but it's really big and it's from Pretty Little Things. I really like it. It's cute. If um, I'm trying to babysit out here in New York, so I'll probably use this to put like my computer or anything that I need to bring to work. Like that. <laughs> Modern, it's big. I like it. Okay, so one, it was third, like thirty dollars, but I really fuck with it. I really fuck with it. Then what came out? How do you feel? Um, yeah, she um, she she's crazy. <laughs> But I think it was an okay workout. I got a little awkward because there's too many guys and they'd be staring. And no, literally like three people were just that staring. Like, staring. Like weird. She's a movie star. What I was saying is that we tried going to a dining hall. They were closed so now we're going to a different one. Cause shorty we're starving. Come on guys. The fucking line. How do you feel about this line? I literally want to. Hey guys, so I just showered and I'm gonna do my skincare routine, my nice skin routine, and we're gonna talk about my first day of classes while I do my skincare routine. So the first thing I do is take off my contacts because I got contacts, bro. Shorty's blind. My first class was Introduction to American Politics, and I really want to take that class because I might want to do poli sci. I'm like. 80% that I want to do poli sci, but I'm not 100% sure because I like the idea of poli sci, but I don't know if I would like the actual work. So I'm trying to take some classes to see if I actually would like that. Then, that class had like 200 kids. It's very large. It's a very large lecture. 
a very large like shirt like it's not one-on-one -on -one at all which i'm kind of upset about because i came to barnard for the small classes and i'm taking on my class at columbia which is like okay fine i know what that was gonna happen but not to this extreme like i don't have any really small classes except my spanish class and my first year or shop whatever i guess i guess that's how it goes for a first year it was very large and i'm waitlisted to all my classes so i'm on the waitlist for that too hopefully i still get it i'm gonna keep showing up and i'm gonna do the work and hopefully he sees that i'm interested and he lets me in and he should let me in because it's a very large class like it shouldn't be an issue but it kind of sucks that i'm waitlisted to all my classes because what am i paying for i'm i'm paying to have to beg to learn it makes absolutely no sense you know but i guess this is how things work and after that i have to walk like 10 minutes to my second class it's intro to psych i'm also waitlisted to that but i showed up to the class and she said that that shows much interest so hopefully she lets me in there and if she doesn't then i'm fucked because i need those credits i'm taking intro to psych because i might want to pair that with um political science because i feel like that'd be a good way to get to know people and know their motives and stuff like that because i might want to go into law school so i feel like that would be a great way to get into people's heads but i also fuck with psychology and that class was a lecture but it was a small lecture it was probably like 40 kids which isn't bad i think it was a little bit less than 40 which isn't bad to be honest because she still asked us questions and she still asked us to participate so i don't think really that it was that big of a deal so i really like that class her grading system is amazing she doesn't do really like big tests she does smaller quizzes which i feel like is really beneficial to mostly freshmen because these big tests are a lot of pressure like imagine doing great the whole semester and then having one bad day and doing one like doing bad on one test your whole year is fucking fucked which kind of sucks but so i really like her grading system and i really want to get into that class but i showed up to the class she took attendance so hopefully she sees that i was there because not all people who got waitlisted actually showed up so i think that would show great great interest then after that straight after that i had my spanish class and that was literally another 10 minute walk like i'm just back and forth and they're right after another, which I wanted that because like that I can get into the zone and kind of go to class to class to class. And all my classes are from 8.45 to 1, which I know a lot of you guys might think is a mistake. But I kind of fuck with it because, bro, I was tired, yes, but my day ended at 1 p.m. I had a time to nap, go to the gym, and I'm going to do homework. And I'm going to still go to sleep before 12, you know? So I feel like it's a sacrifice that I can make and I can get used to waking up early because I did it back at home. And I know people say it's like different, but... Like, I woke up early even when it was, like, COVID and, and I didn't have to. So, I think I might be able to do it. And if not, then I'll just learn for next semester. You live and you learn, you know? Yeah, I don't have classes after 1 p.m. But, yeah, my Spanish class was pretty light. Um, The speaking portion, I always know that I'm going to walk into a Spanish class and I'll be fine in the speaking portion because I grew up talking Spanish. Um... I haven't really seen the writing portion and the grammar portion, so I'm gonna wait for that. Hopefully, it's not too bad, but I do really wanna get better at writing and reading Spanish, so I hope it challenges me a little bit, because right now it's looking a little bit easy, but we'll see. I took a play this one test. Then after this, I'm gonna do my Spanish homework that she assigned. We shouldn't be too bad, hopefully, even though she assigned like seven. She assigned like seven, um, practice problems but we'll see how large they actually are the only thing i'm stressing about is because i'm waitlisted to all these classes like i'm actually scared that they won't accept me and then i don't know what i'm gonna do because like that's, I, don't, I don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do but hopefully they see that i'm showing up i'm doing the work and also test books are mad expensive <laughs> it's mm, they're really expensive i hope that i can find a website that can let me use it for free even though i might get a little virus but hopefully i can find one because seven dollars for each textbook and i'm taking four classes <laughs> it's 11 30 so 
It's time for me to go to sleep. I have to wake up at 7 tomorrow. Really, my first class is at 10. I still want to get ready, you know, get breakfast, um, plan on my day. I'm really trying to wake up at the same time every day, even though on Mondays and Wednesdays, I have class a little later. I still want to wake up at the same time, so I can get used to it. And, yeah, it's just time to go to sleep. It was a hectic, but good, but calm day. It was all the above, if that makes sense. The homework was actually not too bad. It was pretty light, so hopefully it stays like that. Even though I know so I can stay like that because that's only one class. But yeah, good night, guys.